heroes and welcome back to another video. I'm Candace Latham and this channel is all about helping you become the hero of your own lives and navigate adulthood a bit easier in regards to your finances, your habits, and your mindset. But of course today we're talking all about habits. Right? It's the new year and I'm sure there's many goals that you want to achieve. And according to a CNBC article I was reading, it said that the top financial goals for Americans in 2020 is 61% of them want to pay off their debt, 31% plan to max out their retirement accounts, 23% plan to ask for a raise, 22% plan to start investing or invest more money. According to a study by SoFi on CNBC.com. But when it comes to like fitness goals, of course, everybody wants to get healthier. We want to lose weight. We want to look good. So those are really the top goals that people have in 2020. And of course, taking care of our mental health as well. But how come we're not sticking to these habits? How are we sticking to these goals? You know, I'm sure we've had these goals for quite some time. So what's going to change this year? How are you going to be different? And I'm, that's what I'm going to talk about, how habits play a huge role into you reaching your goals in 2020 and beyond. So before I get started, if you guys haven't already signed up for my email list, it's a free list. I have a five day email series of the first five action steps to take in order to start thriving in your finances and in your life. So make sure you guys sign up for that below. And looks what it's arrived. This came in the mail. Hero in your finances, finance workbook and growth planner. Now I'm so happy that it's here. Look at this, it's a 12 month money planner. So if you're looking to stay organized this year and stick to your goals, there's also a habit tracker in here as well. A little bit more about this later. For now, let's get into those habit tips. I'm gonna read this tweet that I saw recently about habits because it's so true. So if you're not following me on Instagram, my Instagram name is at everything Candace Latham. And so the quote, the tweet was from Four Pillar Freedom and it said, don't stress out about how to have a successful year. Instead, focus on how you can optimize your schedule and habits to have a successful week. Then repeat that week 52 times and the successful year would take care of itself. So if, we are, if we're able to actually implement our habits on a daily basis, we're guaranteed to have a successful year. I have not yet read the Atomic Habits book that is on my reading list, but I have checked out this book right here, The Power of Habit and Why We Do What We Do in Life and Business by Charles Duhigg. I hope I'm saying that correctly. They were doing where, actually, I'm not gonna try to memorize it. I'm just gonna read it to you guys, so bear with me. So there was an experiment conducted over the past 20 years that, have, that has revolutionized our understanding of how cues, rewards, and habits interact. So this is basically an experiment where they are experimenting on a group of monkeys. They were studying the brains of monkeys as they learned to perform certain tasks such as pulling different levers or opening clasps. They were to figure out which parts of the brain was responsible for new actions. So basically what they would do is they would put a one monkey in the room, I think his name was Julius. So they put Julius in the room and they would put a shape on the screen. Now Julius likes grape juice. It would come on the screen, they would want Julius to pull the lever and when he would pull the lever, that's when grape juice would come out. And Julius liked grape juice. So he had gotten to the habit of every time he sees a shape on the screen to pull the lever and that grape juice would come into his mouth. And so that is the tr when that happened, a trigger of excitement would happen in his brain. His brain would light up and just be like, I'm happy because this grape juice is coming into my mouth. So what they realized is that in order for us to build habits, you have to build rewards into the things that we're trying to change. So for example, if I want to work out more for my reward, maybe my reward after working out is that I feel better and that I get to make a smoothie, a delicious smoothie after my workout, or I get to drink a cup of coffee. Cause sometimes for me, I realize that what slows down my workouts in the morning is that I want to sit down, I want to read, I want to journal, then I want to make my coffee, then I have to wait for it to cool down. And next thing I know, it's like 9.30 and I'm like, oh, maybe I should just go to the gym a little bit later cause I don't have time anymore. But if I just wake up right away, put my gym clothes on, go to the gym, and then reward myself with a cup of coffee after I work out because the, the apartment complex gives us free coffee, it makes me get out the house faster and my reward is that I get to get free Starbucks coffee, which tastes delicious. So it maybe when it comes to your habits this year, you have to find a way to create a reward for yourself that makes you want to actually do this habit that, that will help you get to the better life and help you reach the goals that you want to achieve. Start adding some rewards into your habits or to the things that you want to change. So for example, if you did want to start, you know, sitting down and creating a plan for your money, 
Maybe you choose a specific day of the month, every month where you're gonna sit down, put a, re put a reminder on your phone or a calendar event so your phone notifies you that this is what's happening on this specific day. Maybe pull, pull out your favorite drink, maybe if it's a glass of wine or reward yourself with a cup of tea or just something that will make that makes you excited to actually sit down and do this activity. Or when it comes to paying off debt or investing more money. Just set some kind of cue or reminder to yourself that this is the date and time you're gonna do it and then set up some kind of reward that you will be happy about and then you'll feel good about after it's completed. And for me, tracking my net worth helps me feel happy because I get to see my money growing, I get to see where I've made improvements, I get to see where I need to be better. So even just, any, like I said, just sitting down and having that time where you're going to check your finances is going to be key. Or it helps you figure out what goals you should be focused on because it helps you see exactly where you are. So there's no guessing, it's like this is where I am and what do I need to be to change, what do I need to do to change the situation. So I have a month of examples. Um, so I have an example net worth tracker sheet in here. I have a monthly tracking your money wins in here as well. I have so many different great things in here. I have, of course, tracking your spending plan or AKA your budget. I have an abundance tracker and of course a habit tracker. So if you wanted to actually just keeping track of the things that you, the habits that you have is helpful. It's going to help you stick to it because now every time I go to the gym, I get to X off that I actually went to the gym today, that I actually completed this task, and that keeps you on track as well. So this is a great 12-month planner. If you guys are interested, I'm gonna leave the link for where you can purchase in the description box below. It comes in a digital version, and also comes in a printed version, like the one here.